Worldwide, a child is diagnosed with cancer every two seconds, but a group in Lafayette is trying to lower that number. News 18's Brad Oppenheim tells us what's being done to try to put an end to childhood cancer. A group gathered at Nine Irish Brothers on Sunday afternoon with one goal in mind, ending childhood cancer. While some came out for the food, raffle prizes and music, some came out to make a point by shaving their heads. The children that have cancer often lose their hair because of treatments. They don't have a choice in that, but we do. So we shave our heads to tell them we understand and we're standing with you. The event raises money for St. Baldrick's Foundation, which provides grants for childhood cancer research. To this date, the foundation has shaved 450,000 heads and held over 10,000 events worldwide. Volunteer event organizer Heather Stinger says she started working towards raising awareness as a way to honor her mother. She died very suddenly in 2013 and childhood cancer was her greatest charitable passion. And so a year after she died, uh, my friends said they'd help me out and we started this event as a way to honor her memory and continue on fighting for a cause that she really believed in. Stinger says she plans on having her head shaved to raise money to fight childhood cancer. We hope to see better treatments where kids maybe might not lose their hair. They might not get sick. More children will survive. Over the last three years, more than $30,000 has been raised at the event. Stinger says the goal for this year was to raise $6,000, but at this point, they are well over $9,000, with more to come on Sunday. Renee Polsenweight is a first-time shavee. She was ready to have her head shaved. A little nervous, but excited, and my hair has been growing out since the end of March. I'm ready for it to come off. Colleen Sheehy was diagnosed with thyroid cancer when she was 16. She raised nearly $5,000 this year for childhood cancer research. I heard about St. Baldrick's and the opportunity to raise money for children who do receive diagnoses more severe than, than mine and who, um, by no choice of their own, lose their hair. I, I, I wanted to jump in and help right away. She also braided the scissors and clippers and had her head shaved and donated her hair. I've been extremely, extremely humbled by the amount of support that people have extended. It, it just makes me feel like the cause is very special and like what I, what I care about the event is also really special to other people. Every little bit we can do can help children across the country, across the world, and right here in our own community. Reporting in Lafayette, Brad Oppenheim, News 18. Singer says she anticipated over 100 people to attend this year's fundraiser.